Right here I have this Moki directional video camera microphone. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you what it looks like. Here's everything that came inside the box besides the user manual. First off we have this little storage bag. I'm so glad that this came with a little baggie. It draws strings. I can make sure that we don't lose any of these little parts, especially when I'm traveling. Here's the Miyoki video microphone. This is what you're going to attach to your device so you can ensure that the audio is captured correctly. All of your devices need to have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to make sure that this is compatible with it. I did want to point out that this little microphone has high anti-interference. This microphone is made out of aluminum. This will protect the sound recording quality from high radio frequency. Here we have the outdoor noise reduction windshield and the indoor noise reduction sponge. I'm glad it comes with both of these options so my audio can be captured wherever I'm filming. Right here we have the shock mount. This is going to be used to attach to your device and then the microphone is going to rest right inside here. This 3.5 millimeter connector is TRS to TRS. This is going to be used for your smartphone, your tablet, or your Mac. You might need to attach a little adapter to one of these if your device does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Next we have this 3.5 millimeter connector. This is going to be for TRS to a TRRS. And lastly we have a CTIA to an OMTP adapter. I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up for my camera. So right now I'm going to be filming inside so I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. So I went ahead and added the mic to the indoor noise reduction sponge. This is going to be perfect because I'm filming indoors. We're going to use this little mount to attach to my camera and then it's going to hold the microphone inside. And then lastly, this is going to be the attachment I need. So we're going to go ahead and get this all set up on my camera. And then I'm going to film with and without the mic so you can tell the difference. So right here I have everything all connected and how I'm going to mount this to my camera. And then I'm going to connect it to the little audio jack that's in my camera and we're going to test it out. So here's my camera. With this camera it looks like there's a little spot right here for the little mount to attach. And then we also have a little spot right here for the mic to connect into. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up and then I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So right here's what my camera looks like after it's all been connected. I'm going to go ahead and video again so you can tell if you can hear the difference between using the mic versus not. Alright, here's just a little bit of audio without the microphone so you as a viewer can tell if there's a difference. I'm going to go ahead and attach the microphone to the camera now so you can tell the difference. So I just went ahead and attached the microphone so hopefully you can tell the difference between how loud I am and how versus how quiet. You can definitely see that the mic is working. Overall, I'm super happy with this device. This is going to work perfect for my camera and filming inside versus outside. I love how compact the design is. It's not weighing down my camera. I don't have to worry about it falling off my camera. It's super sturdy. I love the versatility of this device. This is going to be super helpful in ensuring that the truest audio is transferring into the camera.